Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Continuing with our poster series, I am working with Robbie here in an effort to better incorporate him into the poster in a cool way. In this video, I'm going to take Robbie's pants and make them a little bit more interesting since he wasn't able to come in in full costume. It's only a few steps and it's very easy if you know your way around Photoshop. So here we go. What I want to do first is select the pants themselves, but I don't want to do this in a way which will take a lot of time like when I originally masked him. So I'm going to select his layer and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to take the copy and I'm going to grab the direct selection tool, select the path, and then click and drag around certain areas and press Command or Control X to delete them. I want to do this with everything but the pants themselves. Okay, so now that we have our path, we want to bring in a pattern. Now I decided something very army-esque because when I talked to my client, Zero Kazama, he said he was going for futuristic tactical. So I'm going to try a few other elements later on to make it more futuristic, but I can start with tactical. I found this army fatigue texture, and what I'm going to do is drag it into our layer and put it over top of this image. Put it right over top, including the shoes. Now what I want to do is Command or Control click on the pants layer, so you can see it's selected right here, and make sure that our fatigues layer is still selected, and click on Add Layer Mask. Now there's a couple things we want to do to perfect this mask, because as you can see, you don't see any patterns. It's very simple. Go to the Composite Mode in the Layers panel and choose Overlay. You can see it fits almost perfectly. It's pretty awesome how well it fits in. You can get really complicated with it and transform the image itself and warp it so it looks like it has a bit of a three-dimensional effect around his pants, but you really can't tell. So I'm going to zoom in onto his shoes. And because this is a layer mask, I want to use the brush tool and make sure the foreground color is black and make sure that the mask is selected and start painting over his shoes. This will get rid of the mask. And there you go. It's really that simple. So I'm gonna press Control or Command Save to save our smart object so it can be applied to the poster. And you can see how much of a difference it really makes. He's already fitting in better to the poster. So in the next video, what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of personalization to Robbie's gun. I'm going to add a little name on it that you would kind of see on a person's gun or say a jet fighter. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in a way which looks very realistic.